Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. Something that I've been thinking about for a while is when is Strand going to die on Fear the Walking Dead? He's been on the show since season 5 of, of uh, I'm sorry, episode 1 of season 5, I believe. And, um, you know, we're now a few episodes in season 4, and I was kind of thinking that they might kill him off. Um, I mean, they've been killing off characters left and right. You know, I thought Troy, Travis, and Ophelia would both probably make it out of season three alive and they all got killed um you know they they really like to kill characters you know da the only reason daniel salazar is possibly still alive is because he keeps leaving <laughs> he's like bye and he just runs away then he comes back and then he runs away and comes back but for the most part the show has killed off a lot of main characters you know shockingly you know in in unexpected ways and arguably even too soon so i was starting to wonder you know how much longer is Strand going to make it because this is his fourth year this is his fourth season he's had a lot of story um he's definitely kind of an asshole and he he's he 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 he, he, he manipulates people and um he's kind of like I saw someone else say this he's kind of like Eugene and he kind of is um but maybe th with this season since it it goes back and forth in time and it then it's like years later you know, would Strand be more of a likable character, more of a, a hardcore survivor that, that's really ride or die with Madison? And then maybe that's what makes it, him dying a, a tragic idea. Um, so I was really starting to think that, that maybe Strand's days were really numbered, that maybe this would be the season where he gets killed. But then yesterday happened where Nick died. <laughs> and that kind of threw me off by uh, quite a stretch. Um, I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if I see it anymore. They could do it. They could kill off Strand. But he's the, ori the, he's the only original guy left. He's the only guy from season one that's left. I feel like you need at least, you know... A, a, Carol's the original female of The Walking Dead. She's been on the show since season one. And then, of course, there's Rick Daryl Morgan. With Fear of the Walking Dead, it's it's pretty much just what? Madison, Strand, and Alicia. They're the only season one characters left. So, you know, are they going to kill off Strand and Nick and not have Daniel Salazar come back? I feel like that's a bit much for just one season. I feel like in some ways, if they killed Strand, I mean, they could, but I think that they really need... They really need some original ingredients. They really need some survivors that have been on the show for multiple seasons, and they're running out. They're running out fast. They killed off Alicia, or not Alicia, Ophelia. They killed off Travis. You know, now they've killed off Nick. You know, they they killed off Chris in season two. You know, Ophelia's mother, Griselda, or whoever she was, they killed off Travis's wife. So they've really, really killed off almost all of the original characters, the original group of survivors from season one. The only ones that are left are pretty much Strand, Alicia, and Madison. So, unless Daniel comes back, and that's still kind of... I'm leaning towards him not coming back this season. I, I think that Daniel Salazar is still alive, but we might not see him until season five. I know that Ruben Blades is kind of a difficult actor to, to bring in. He's always off doing things, so he might be too busy. So they might be saving some dramatic return for season five. I really think we should have Daniel Salazar come back this season, but they might not do it. So that leaves the only characters from season one of Fear the Walking Dead are going to be Nick, not Nick, and Nick's dead. Nick is dead now. <laughs> um, Strand, Alicia, and Madison. So are the are they really going to kill off Strand? Is it really a good idea to kill off any more original characters? Um, I know they have to develop the, the new characters, and they have to develop Morgan, but we still need some original characters that we've, we've spent multiple years with. I know we've we've spent multiple years with Morgan and all that, but it, some people, they're, they're out there. Some people have watched Fear the Walking Dead, and they haven't watched The Walking Dead, you know, so... You kind of have to keep that in mind as a writer. I think you have to keep in mind that there are people that just watch The Walking Dead and there are people that just watch Fear the Walking Dead. I know it's crazy. It is, but they're out there, especially if they're really young. Uh, they, they might be they might have started watching Fear the Walking Dead, you know, when, when they're, you know, 10 or 11 or 12. And that was the show they got into instead of The Walking Dead. 
like I said, I'm not saying I agree with that. I'm just saying it's it's a thing. It they're out there, you know. And these are these original characters from the first season, and now it's season four, and almost all the original characters are gone. They really need to keep those last three. They really need to keep Strand, Madison, and Alicia. And like I said, they could do it. They could kill off Strand. They could kill off everyone. Season four could end in a bloodbath. But I think that it would be smart to keep. Madison, Alicia, and Strand alive, and then maybe kill one of them off in season five. I still think that Alicia is going to end up being the last one standing at this point. I've been feeling that way since season two that she would be the last one, the last one standing. Um, but I, I, I really think that that's where they're going, especially now that they've killed off Travis and Nick. It, it's looking more and more like Alicia is going to be. The last one left she's gonna be the final survivor at the end of the show and who knows when that's gonna be you know is that gonna be season five we don't even know for sure if fear is gonna get a season five the ratings are doing okay for now but they could drop you know um, we don't know if there's gonna be a season six that's for sure we don't know for sure about a, a fear of the walking dead season six I gotta tell you at the rate they're going who's gonna be a left who's gonna be left alive <laughs> I mean um, they killed off Travis at the, at the beginning of season three they killed off Nick at the beginning of season four pretty much who's gonna be left alive in season six I mean at the rate they're going you know season seven season eight season nine who knows who knows how long Fear the Walking Dead is going to last, but sooner or later, they gotta slow down with the chopping block, you know? I think that we should have at least a couple of characters, for the most part, get all the way through it, just because I just think that it should always be like that. It's like that with The Walking Dead. There's Rick, Daryl, Carol, Morgan. It's like that with the comics. There's Rick, uh, Andrea for a while, but she's gone now. But there's still Rick, Carl, and Sophia. They've, they've been alive for the entire story, um, almost 200 issues. You got to have someone original that's left. It doesn't have to be a lot of characters, but you got to have someone original that's left. I, otherwise, I just think it, it, it just it doesn't look good, it, and it, and it kind of hurts the the format to to have nothing from the beginning, make it all the way through to the end. There should be something from the beginning that makes it all the way through the end. And I know that Strand wasn't exactly in the first episode, but he was a season one character. So I think that, I think that from a writer's perspective, Strand, Alicia, and Madison should make it to season five. Season five, they could kill off Strand. Um, I think that Strand... Um, I, I could see his story continuing as a character. I could see him continuing to develop... Um, maybe he goes back to his old habits and tries to rip people off and fuck people over. Um, or maybe he becomes a heroic survivor and, and, and a heroic soldier or something like that. Uh, there's there's a couple of interesting directions his story could take. Um, so I think he, he could definitely die in season five. Um, that would definitely give the, the writers a chance to give his death an emotional impact. Um, with season four, I, I think I kind of... He, they could kill him off, but if I, I were to place a bet, I would say Strand is safe for season four. And it's kind of funny because a few days ago, I would not be saying this. I would be saying that Nick, Alicia, and Madison would make it out of season four and possibly not Strand. But now that they've killed off Strand, or they've killed off Nick, I don't know why I'm getting names mixed up, but now that they've killed off Nick, I think that Strand sh could and should should survive season four. So, um, season five, I think the only one that I, I could definitely see surviving is Alicia. Like I said, I think she's going to be the last one to make, to, to die. She might, she might not even die. She might be the last one standing. Who knows? But as far as season four goes, I think Strand, Mash, Madison, and Alicia should make it all the way through. And they probably will make it all the way through. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. Just let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Just let me know in the comments. Anyway, don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. We are at 103 subscribers right now, so please hit that subscribe button and help me get to my first goal of 250. Once we get there, I'm going to make a very badass celebration video celebrating 250 subscribers <laughs> so please help me get to 250 we're getting there or we're almost halfway there so please to anyone that's interested please hit that subscribe button and help me get to my goal of 250 anyway i am spencer rhodes and i will see you guys later
Bye.